Chelsea back in 3 first build up phase insist on wide to straight pressing structure example against Manchester United. That's why Arsenal incorporates Ben White even at that space behind. It regularly stops Chelsea's build up. Chelsea also relied on narrow distance in midfield to apply vertical passes. Arsenal had various out of position structures and switched into a sound 4 4 2 in that kind of situation to try to block Silva's dangerous vertical passes. We saw Potter insisting on this pattern to bypass opponent's structure, Mendes long balls a kick were key to target the left channel, then Howard's penetrating left half space. However, this pattern has less chance to succeed than on ground passes. It was interesting to attach Arsenal's tactical discipline when both defensive midfielders Jorhingo and Loftus Cheek dropped off in first phase of build up. Both Cheka and Odegaard men marked these two players to make sure they don't receive the ball in good conditions. With Loftus Cheek and Jorinho constantly men marked with few possibilities to move away, Chelsea's ball carrier hadn't flattering choice to catalyze build up. Illustrating Arsenal's various pressing structures made the difference to recover the ball higher on the pitch. Arsenal really insisted on a sound man oriented press, which was a bit risky given the space it creates. That's why Loftus Cheek could have met more runs in behind to propose interesting pass option. Without these moves, Chelsea was frequently forced to rate. Concerning build-up patterns, Arsenal has been excellent to catalyze build-up and manipulate Chelsea's narrow distance in certain zones. For example, making risky passes to find Odegaard and Saka with at least two different runs around him to dismantle Chelsea's defense. Chelsea regularly puts consequent amount of players on lanes in and out of positions versus Manchester United and Aston Villa, creating numerical superiority. Arsenal managed to bypass the density by taking risk and position, largely rewarded to switch off play and create danger. As I said before, Ben White not pressed near the penalty box is a current error opponents tend to make. Given his course quality, frequently targeting second post, Arsenal could have scored two times with this situation. A perfect illustration here. While Arsenal build up is about to target Saka, Jesus, Martinelli and Chaka are already positioned to attack second post if White Saka received near penalty box. Chelsea faced some issues to find parades for this past team, despite its narrowness. Arsenal's combination and low build-up phase have been innovative. I have to point out the calmness and serenity Saliba brings in an out-of position. His past skills match his serenity before the pass, even under a high press room, followed by an excellent up-go throw. Zichenko, as an inverted fullback, Allow Cheka to stay alongside Gabriel Jesus or a bit lower and reinforced midfield in Bulls' face. He was used to this positioning at St. and now Arsenal. It eased out Gabriel Saliba's ball carrying on lanes. Zinchenko frequently positioned to receive the first pass, given Ramsdale excellent passing range. Parties short move to attract Joringo to increase the space for the pass is important, especially in first phase of build-up. Saliba Zinchenko connection in build-up was relevant. Even if sometimes Zinchenko lost the ball in dangerous zones, such as here, however, I think it's part of what Arteta demands. 
taking risks and being innovative in position reinforces self-confidence.